welcome to another episode of Dreamer Website Building with me, Seeks97. And in this episode, I'll be teaching you how to create links in Dreamweaver. So that's having font that links it to a website by clicking it without actually having the link visible. But instead, have a, your own des designated text with a link attached to it. And also be telling you how to change the colours of links. So hover um, when you're not hovering and then once you've clicked it, what colour it goes. And what colour links go that you've already clicked. So I've come over to Dreamweaver and i am started straight after my last tutorial where I've just formatted my font. And if I come down here I've got links and I want to link each of these to the link I want to. So first we're going to start with gaming with party, so that's me. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight it and down here under properties we've got a link tab. So now what we're going to type into this is the website we'll go to when we click it. So that's my, obviously my YouTube gaming channel, youtube.com forward slash seeks on ninety seven. And then click off and you can see it goes blue with an underline which is the default link colour. And now we know the link works because it's gone that colour. And then there's this thing here called target, so if you put it to blank it means when you click it it opens in a new tab. And if you go into new I believe that's window and I'm not sure what the rest of these do, but that's the tab and new is the window. So I'll leave it as blank. Now we're going to do the second one. But I'm going to show you this in the code form. So as you can see the code appeared here around game of party. So I'll be teaching this code. So within the P tags, oh wait it says tutorials of party. So inside the P, we're going to put a bra bracket. And then we're going to type in A, sorry, not link, but A, which means this is like the letter that you use for links. And then A, and then H-R-E-F. And it says here browse, but we don't want to browse, we want to do an instant link. So we just leave that and type in our link for this, some of the tutorials. So www.youtube.com forward slash awesome tutorials. Uh, put a uh, space on that and then again targets. So we're copying what it says above. Double click that and it gives you a list of the targets. So I went blank like before. And then another bracket. And then within that P NP1 we we'll put a bracket and slash and it automatically ends our link. So if we go to design we can see that our tutorials with party has also been linked successfully. So now I've just done the other links, so that's my Facebook, my Twitter, my main website which links you to the Volsim LOL parts, my Minecraft mods and more, and my twitch.tv channel. So now we can go on to formatting our link colours. So to actually change the colours of our link, so what it looks like now, what it looks like when we hover, when we click, you want to go into properties and page properties, and then we want to go down to appearance not appearance, links, CSS and now we want to see what says link, same page as font, link font size, leave that as normal and link colour, so this is the colour when it's by itself I'm going to put as a uh, darkish grey the visited link, so something we already visited, I'm going to leave that as a darkish grey because I don't want that to be like distinctively visible roll over link, so when we highlight it I'll put that as a red and then active links is when you click it, I'll just put that as a lighter grey. Actually I'll swap those around, so that being a lighter grey, active being red. Always underline, yes. And if I apply this now, you can see it just changed. So, if you want to see this in action, just click live view above the top. And just go down, and we can see when we hover, it goes a lighter grey. And then when we click it, it goes red. Same with tutorials, and same with Facebook page. So now we know that our... Uh, colours for our links uh, work successfully. Thanks for watching yet another tutorial by me. Uh, if you like this then please like the video. If you have any more questions, which I hope you do because then that means I'm more active on YouTube, then please leave in the comment section below. And if you want feeds on your main YouTube page about when the, my new videos are up for this series and my other series and other series I might do in the future, then please subscribe to my channel because that would really help me and help you to know when my videos are available for you to watch. And yeah, thanks for watching.